Hi, I'm Amir Hossein Mirza Bozork. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the subroutines in Abacus that you can define a new material model by using them. One of the famous of Abacus subroutines is UMAT subroutine. You can define a user material by using UMAT. But this subroutine is not the only subroutine that you can use it for defining a material. There are several subroutines in each of the structural solvers abacus that you can use them for defining a new material model in Abacus. In this video, I'm going to talk about UMAT and other subroutines for defining a new material in Abacus. This is the table of content of this video. First, I want to introduce you some of the subroutines for defining a new material in Abacus. Then I want to talk about UMAT and VUMAT subroutines. Then I will talk about USDFLD and VUSDFLD subroutines. And finally, I will talk about UHART and VUHART subroutines. Each of the solvers of Abacus has their own subroutines for defining a new material in Abacus. And you cannot use one of the solver subroutines for another solver. Here I have mentioned some of the subroutines that you can use them for defining a new material in Abacus. For Abacus Explicit Solver, we have VUMAT, VUSDFLD, and VUHART subroutine. And for Abacus Standard Solver, we have UMAT, UHART, UMAT HT, USDFLD, CREEP, UHYPER and UDM Genie subroutines. Between these subroutines, UMAT and VUMAT are the most famous subroutines. And most of the people think that the only way to define a new material in Abacus is to use one of them. But this is not correct. Amicus has a lot of subroutines for defining a new material. For example, by using VUHART or UHART, you can define a new plasticity model for ductile materials. And by using CRIP subroutine, you can define a new creep model. By using U-Hyper subroutine, you can define a new model for a hyperelastic material. And by using UDM Genie subroutine, you can define a new initiation criterion for XFEM technique in fracture mechanics. For example, if you want to define a model for crack initiation in bones, you must use UDM Genie subroutine because Abacus has not an appropriate initiation model for bones. Or by using USDFLD or VUSDFLD subroutines, 
you can modify the available mathematical models in the property module and define a new material model that is based on the material models in property module. Now I want to talk about UMAT and VUMAT. UMAT and VUMAT can be used to define the mechanical constitutive behavior of a material. When you use UMAT or VUMAT, you cannot use the mechanical behaviors available in the property module except thermal expansion coefficient. For example, if you want to define a constitutive behavior for metals by using these subroutines, if some of the points of material go to damage domain, you must define all of the elastic, plastic, and damage regions. If you want to define a mechanical constitutive law by using UMAT or VUMAT, you must have sufficient proficiency on the theory basis of that mechanical constitutive law and its equations. Notice that generally writing UMAT or VUMAT is not simple and it can take a lot of time. For example, for writing a subroutine for concrete plasticity and concrete damage, because of the complex nature of the concrete, the UMAT subroutine or VUMAT subroutine of this model will be too complex and writing of these codes will take a lot of time. For example, more than one year. Because you must have sufficient proficiency on the theory basis of that mechanical constitutive law and its equations. Now I want to talk about USDFLD and VUSDFLD subroutines. By using USDFLD and VUSDFLD subroutines, you can modify the mechanical and thermal behaviors defined in Abacus and define a new behavior. For example, you can define some of the damage behaviors in composites or define the mechanical properties as a function of position by using these subroutines. Notice that you can define every physical mechanical behavior by using UMAT or VUMAT, but it can take a lot of time and can be very complex. Using USDFLD or VUSDFLD is an easier way for defining some of them. Notice that I have said for defining some of them, not all of them, because that mechanical model must have the capability to be defined by USDFLD and VUSDFLD subroutines. And some of the material models do not have this capability. And here I want to talk about UHART and VUHART subroutines. UHART and VUHART can be used to define a material's isotropic yield behavior. They can be used to define the size of the yield surface in a combined hardening model. If the plasticity equation ha has a form like this, you can use U-hard or V-U-hard subroutines to define this plasticity model. This is equivalent stress, this is equivalent plastic strain, it is uh, PEQ in the abacus and this is the equivalent plastic strain rate and this is temperature. Here I want to talk about two plastic models that have this format. These plastic models have that a special format 
and it means that you can define these plasticity models by using U-hard or V-U-hard subroutines. This is the famous Johnson Cook plasticity model. This is its equation and you can use U-hard or V-U-hard subroutines for defining this model. And there is no need for using UMAT and VUMAT because it takes a lot of time. You can contact us by using Telegram or WhatsApp or using email. These are our paid services. One-on-one -on -one tutoring on Skype, WhatsApp and making a special videos to your order and answering your questions. High quality simulations for thesis exercises and industrial projects by using Abacus. All of our services are paid services. We can adapt our services according to your conditions and your needs. The cost of services depends on the subject of your project and its complexity. And it means that our costs are not predefined. And it depends on the complexity of the project. The cost of service must be paid by PayPal. This is the only way for transferring money for us. Thank you so much for your attention and concentration. Good luck.